If you're curious about using Notion for business, this is the video series for you. This is episode one of our five part series on using Notion for business. And today I'll be talking about what to use Notion for, what not to use Notion for, and we'll be walking through my online business tracker template where I'll be walking through all the different things that you can use Notion and specifically my template for. So let's just get into it. Make sure to follow along for more. I have a lot of videos about Notion if you're getting started, as well as my Notion Foundations All Access course, which gets you all of my templates, all of my courses, and monthly training. So I hope you guys check that out. So there's four kind of main areas that I think I'm gonna be talking about, as well as I will be having some follow-up videos. But I wanna talk specifically today about the four types of things you can use Notion for. The first off is project management. This is probably the main reason people use Notion, you know, creating a project, having tasks and to-do lists, figuring out your goals, um, collaborating with your team if you have one, and just utilizing it as kind of a general Google Drive, you know, Google Docs situation spreadsheet where you can have lots of information shared amongst people. So that would be the first thing that you can use Notion for. And again, we'll be walking through this a little bit as we go. The second one is storing information in general about a company. So having, if you have a new person coming onto your team, do you have all the onboarding documents of what they need to know? You can embed videos and trainings and all the things that the company needs to know, whether it's about clients or that sort of thing. Having all that information in one space and organized is very, very helpful. The third Third is client management. So this could be client proposals, client portals that they can log into, um, CRMs, as well as things like a media kit and services that you offer. Those are all things that I've used in the past and they're all very helpful when they're stored in Notion. And the last is your marketing plan. So coming up with things like a content calendar and marketing planning for your business is a great tool and reason why I use Notion. And it's actually one of the first things I set up for myself when I started using the app. So those are just four quick things that you can use Notion for. We'll be going and diving deeper into them in this video as well as in follow-up videos, but I just wanted to share with you today some of them, and then we'll also be talking about what not to use Notion for. So stay tuned to the end for that because there are definitely things I have learned you should not use Notion for. All right, let's start with project management. Um, I will be going through and walking through how it's set up, at least in my template, as well as how you can set it for yourself but I wanted to talk specifically about project management. So one of the things I like about Notion is you can create a project and within that you can create to-do lists, you can start assigning people to specific tasks, you can also do things like in timeline views and start to see um, a, a kind of a broader spectrum of what you want the project to entail. Um, you can assign priorities, statuses, all that sort of thing for a project as well as um, have different goals. So for example, maybe you wanna sell a thousand subscriptions to something. You can actually start to track that in Notion, how many you have. Some of it might be manual, some of it you could set up with automations, but having a to-do list, a goal, and you know your project set up is a great place to start with Notion. So I'll show you guys how I do that on my template. So I wanted to walk through the online business tracker template a little bit. Obviously we have the pillars which are very similar to the life tracker. It's a little different, um, but I wanted to walk through the first part which is business projects. If you open this up, you'll see it actually filters to the business tag and knowledge vault where it's just about business um, projects. So one thing that you could do is if you have um, different things that you're working on, maybe you're creating a webinar. Um, this is just blank, but this is where you could add things like the name of the webinar. You can create pages within pages and then you can start adding to-do lists as well. Um, one thing I didn't mention, so I have this business to-do list. So if you open this up, this is actually down here. Um, let's open this up. So you can start assigning people, you know, so you can um, tag them if you want to assign and add more people. Um, you can have, you know, again, label it based off of the knowledge vault, figure out what your goals are, create a status, the priority, et cetera. So you can even organize it by, you know, having the drop down as well. Um, again, you, if you follow my, my 13 pillar program, um, I have different colors for different types of topics, but this is a great way to kind of organize your businesses. And again, they go into a specific uh, project as well, um, usually within the knowledge vault. So for example, take an online course, it's part of the course creation process or, or, or project, I guess. Um, Maybe you're, you're submitting a book proposal. Maybe the goal is to write a book um, and your project is books. Um, the next one is, you know, contacting someone. Maybe that has to do with a client. All right, so now we've got Gary Vaughn. Let's just say that's his name. Um, so you can see that when you pop over here, 
um, it actually just pops over to his page. I also have information for the clients. I'm kind of skipping ahead, um, but this is another way that you can, you know, have all of the information about him. Um, you can also create a client portal um, for him, and that's something as well that I'll cover as well. All right, now the next thing is setting up employee onboarding and company wiki. So having information about your company, all of the ways that you set it up, maybe even information about each employee, their birthdays, that sort of thing, is another great way to set up Notion so that you have kind of a central hub for all of your team to look at. I think having all of the rules of the company, um, guidelines, all the things that you need to know when you start at a business is very, very helpful. Helpful. A lot of people, you know, don't know where to find that. And Notion is super searchable as well as super easy to organize if you are, if you have someone setting it up for you. So I'll show you guys some examples of that here. The next thing is onboarding employees as well as information. So for example, maybe you have a business trip coming up. You can put all the information about booking, that sort of thing. For employees, you can have things like if you're having a job come up, you can have information about that job. Maybe you have some meetings, you put all your meeting notes in there as well as onboarding. Um, onboarding specifically can have all the systems and setups. So um, information, you can embed videos where you have all that set up. So this is all set up for you in here um, as well. So you've got things like meetings. Maybe you have um, a Monday marketing meeting. Where's the tag as well as who was involved in the meeting. It's a really, really great way to have all the information. Um, some other things are like maybe you have an office building, information about the cleaning schedule, that sort of thing. Um, entertainment. Maybe you have an event that you're going to with your team. We've also got things like business relationships and networking. You could create a CRM here of all the people that you're networking with. Again, this could be on the individual level as well as on the business level. Um, things like health and fitness plans, maybe you have health benefits, that sort of thing. Again, I'm organizing it by the 13 pillars myself. Um, and even down here, you can have like a list of all your employees. You could have their roles, maybe the start date, um, their email. So everyone has access to that headshot. You could create it in gallery view. It just really depends on what you want um, for that. All right, and the third one is using it with clients. We're gonna be going a lot deeper into this in future videos, but some of the things I recently started using it for is sending my clients proposals where it talks about the scope of projects that I have. Uh, client portals where they can log in and see, for example, a content calendar for their company. You can also do things like CRM, start to track using a Kanban board, what status people are at, who do you need to contact, who are your contacts? I have a whole contacts database of all the people that I have in my email list, well, more so my like Gmail, people that I'm actually individually contacting, not my actual email list, you don't wanna do that in Notion. Um, and then as well as creating things like media kits and services. So I'll show you guys that real quick as well in Notion. Okay, so when you're working with clients, there's a few different things that I've created. Um, maybe you have a client questionnaire. This is kind of a place where you can hold that. Maybe you have some welcome kits or client experiences. Another thing you can also use this for is testimonials. So having a list of testimonials where you link it back to your contacts and you have a list of the testimonials, you can use that in the future. There's a ton of ways you can do um, different client operations. One thing I recommend looking into is my client portal. So this is, for example, if you have marketing, um, onboarding, and project management, you've got the content calendar and to-do list for that specific client, and you can duplicate this for a bunch of different people. Um, I also do have a client proposal template, which I'll be sharing in a different video. I'm still working on that, um, but that is something I also have as well. And then the last one is CRM. So if you go again into the CRM, um, I have different things. I have contacts. I also have the different companies and accounts. So you can even have things like what stage they're in, what category and link to all of that stuff as well as the name of the people. So you can use this also in like, say you wanna do it in like board view. You can literally have the different statuses, like you know, not started, that sort of thing, and start to use it as a CRM for your sales and marketing um, stuff that you're doing. Now, I don't have this in the template, but this is an example of my work with me page. One thing I have in here is like sponsorship. Um, if you wanna hire me, here's like information about my services, and then each of them, um, you know, links to more information. So there's like pages within pages. I have my podcast and media. So it's kind of like my media kit. I share like interviews I've been on as well as if you want to hire me for a workshop, these are the workshops that I've put on as well as pricing information. So um, again, you can kind of skip around and contact me, but this is another idea for like using Notion as more of a website, media kit, that sort of thing. Highly recommend looking into something like this as well. 
The last thing is content calendar. As you have seen in a lot of my videos, I've done a ton of content on this. It's constantly evolving, but having a plan, for example, if you're doing um, you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you're using for your social media, having a plan in Notion that multiple people can access, you can see it in calendar view, you can see you know, all the steps that you need to do. It is so much more useful than any other thing I have found, especially things like a Google Drive or, or Google Docs. Like It's so much better. Um, to have it visually shown as well as being able to organize by a piece of content. So let's get into that. Um, I won't go into that too much because I have some future videos, but I just wanted to show you guys how that works in this template. So you can see here that I have kind of just different ideas for like long form and short form content as kind of how I switched it into being. You can see you have the published date, maybe you have the content pillars, the daily theme buckets, priorities, status, anyone involved. And then when you open it up, um, you can see that I actually have a content creation template. So it pops up and it shares things like, um, you know, the hook, the things that you are using. So we've got the brain dump, the title, the hook, introduction, the main points, the conclusion. I'm going to delete this, but basically um, that, and then you can also have a checklist for posting. Um, so it's like, you can kind of set this up for yourself again, if you want to use um, a template as well. Uh, but this is helpful for people. So for example, maybe you're making Notion content or whatever the content is, you can see all the examples, whether it's long form, short form, um, and then you can organize it again, weekly, monthly, however you want, based off of the, the due date, and you can kind of see your entire calendar laid out. Um, I, I will do some more walkthroughs of this and kind of how that works in future videos, but that is um, a major part of, of this template as well. Before we talk about what not to do, I also wanted to mention a few of my free resources. So I have a free Notion guide as well as free business and marketing guide that you can download below. And they have a ton of different resources that I've gathered. I actually just completely reorganized them. So you guys can check those out. It's very, very helpful. I'm hoping to do more content around business and marketing on this account because that is what I teach and that is what I'm the best at. Um, I love working with small businesses and entrepreneurs to utilize Notion and utilize other apps to make their online entrepreneurship even better. So hope you guys check those out. Now let's talk about some of the things that you don't want to use Notion for because there are a lot of things that I do not use Notion for. The first two that are super important, number one, passwords. Do not put passwords inside of Notion. It is not encrypted um, and you don't want to have any issues with that. The second one is any money. I don't recommend tracking money in, in Notion because there are so many great platforms out there that actually do it automatically. They sync with your bank account. Um, I use one called Copilot that I really like, um, and it's it's very visual, so I highly recommend that one. Um, as well as I would just not recommend um, you know having any type of security stuff inside of Notion. Um, again, it is not encrypted, so I use Notion for very uh, basic and not. Um, sensitive information. Some other things that I don't recommend Notion for. One is actually a website. I do think that Super is a great website to link with Notion for basic websites, but if you have something a little bit more advanced where you need to have a sales funnel, you know, contact forms, that sort of thing, it might be better to use a different software like WordPress. I use FG Funnels. Um, having something in addition to Notion for websites is very helpful. I do think that Notion is great for certain things. Um, some other things include email marketing. You can't really do that from Notion. Um, as well as with the CRM, I actually do recommend having another software like, for example, Salesforce or HubSpot, um, because I do think that Notion is a little bit basic and you can't email people directly from Notion right now. I do think that having tools like Zapier, Pipe Drive, some of those connector tools are great to integrate with other apps. And we'll maybe talk about that more in the future. I have done a few videos on Zapier and that sort of thing, but they have evolved, especially as AI has come out and that sort of thing. Highly recommend looking into some of those. I also don't recommend using Notion for things like photo and video storage because you can't really do that. I use Google Photos. I've done some videos on that. There's a lot of other just general things that you probably have figured out you just can't really use Notion for. So the ones that I talked about earlier, I would just recommend using that. Um, it does eliminate the need for multiple apps. Like again, I don't use Google Drive, Google, Fo uh, Google Docs, or any type of spreadsheets anymore because I just use Notion. Um, I also do recommend uploading things like PDFs into Notion. It's a great use 
um, instead of having a bunch of folders with a bunch of PDFs in there, you can actually create an entire hub for that. So that's another thing that I'd recommend. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the kind of overall all one dashboard business tracker. You can get this template. It's only available in either the, the full bundle of all my templates or in Notion Foundations All Access. So this template is not available on its own. It's only part of the bundle. So you guys should definitely check that out because then you also get the life tracker, you get the content calendar, you get, um, and then with Notion Foundations All Access, you also get all of my trainings. Um, I have two courses in there as well as um, monthly trainings as well and office hours. So I hope you guys check that out and I'll talk to you soon.